radiofrequency ablation for mucoid degeneration of the anterior cruciate ligament. This is a video demonstrating diagnostic arthroscopy with debulking of the mucoid ACL using radiofrequency ablation. Characteristically, we see the ligament engorged, separated into strands and filling the femoral notch. This is a probe into the lateral compartment demonstrating engorgement of the anterior cruciate ligament with mucoid degenerate change within the fibers causing the ligament to fill out out of the fe femoral notch and spill into the lateral compartment. Probing the integrity of the ACL confirms that the ligament is intact but as the leg comes into extension at approximately 20 to 30 degrees, the engorged mucoid degenerate ACL can be seen to impinge on the roof of the femoral notch. We use a radio frequency ablation procedure to really debulk the ACL, starting from the perimeter of the ACL, working inwards to debulk the engorged fibers to physically reduce the diameter of the ACL. Hemostasis can also be undertaken at the same time using radiofrequency ablation. The radiofrequency ablation probe is essentially used to take away the peripheral fibers, reducing the diameter of the ACL. Any inflamed synovium over the PCL and ACL should also be removed to physically debulk material in the intercruciate space within the femoral notch. The synovial coverings within the notch around the PCL and the ACL should be removed. During the course of the radiofrequency ablation, we should also carry out periodic assessment of the integrity of the ligament and the adequacy of debulking of the anterior cruciate ligament. Here we see the leg being taken through a range of motion to ensure that as the leg comes into extension, impingement is improved. Stability assessments are also undertaken periodically during surgery to ensure that there is adequate remaining stability of the ligament.